Pushkari. You too. And uh, I kind of want to do something a little different. So basically, I'm going to start like maybe, maybe vlogging. I don't do nothing. So it's just going to be like a little clip at the beginning since I don't really have an intro. So it's just going to be like if anything interesting happens. You know what I mean? So I'll probably throw in a, a clip from me actually, you know, surviving and thriving. You heard? Uh, basically, you know, today's Thursday, what, the 8th? The 9th? Somewhere around there. And I'm on my way to lunch. Even though there's literally no one around me and it's kind of creeping me out. But, uh, yeah. I should be meeting up with, uh, Dylan here in a second. So, yeah. Alright. Alright. So, uh, this is just this is just a car talk. I don't know if I'm, if I'm even going to use this, but I'm kind of trying to work on my shyness. So, I'm just going to start, like, random conversations. Plus, I want this to be, like, a more or less like a family type thing anyway. So, it'd be like y'all are sitting in the passenger seat and, you know, listening to me. I got two things to talk about today. One, my school is fucked up. All right? So, today, basically, was, like, Law Appreciation Day or something. And everybody was supposed to wear blue. I don't, I'm not wearing blue, but, like, every, I don't even think... Now that I think about it, I don't really think anyone was wearing blue, to be honest. And then, it's also like Teacher Appreciation Day or something at our school. So, you know what they're doing? They're making everyone go to a fourth block assembly. Unless you don't have a fourth block, because I don't have a fourth block and I'm leaving. But, everyone's going to a fourth block assembly where they have to watch a wrestling match. Like, how fucked up is that? Like, my school is really about to make everyone that's got a fourth block sit through a long-ass wrestling match. Because them wrestling matches be like, what? Be like two hour, an hour or two long. I don't know if it's two hours long, actually. I've never been to a wrestling match before. I hate to say it, but I am not going to know a damn wrestling match. That sounds boring as hell. I don't go to no wrestling matches. I don't even go to the basketball game, so you think I'm going to go to a wrestling match? Like, come on now. Uh, but I feel like that is just fucked up. Like, they're not even doing class. They said it's supposed to take the entire fourth block, which that is an hour and 30 minutes. And I heard somebody in my second block say they're going to be here till 4.30. And I know good and very well if they keep them people here till 4.30, somebody's going to be mad as hell. Somebody gonna be mad as hell Cause I would be I mean I'd be fighting I would literally be fighting like, I'd be pissed But I ain't gotta go cause I got early release Look So What are these What are these car ride uh, Car ride talks things It's just something I felt like doing I don't know. I feel like doing it. We're probably going to do it once a week or twice a week. Because I'm not going to have too much content. Like, up until I... I don't have enough content to give to my editor right now. So I'm working on getting content. But you want to know the main reason why? Which is the second thing I wanted to talk about. I don't like Modern Warfare. I can genuinely say I don't like it. I was sitting there in, in third block, which by the way, my third block hasn't even started yet, so I'm kind of just sitting and studying all doing nothing. I can genuinely say, I don't like Modern Warfare. I was sitting there watching Modern Warfare. I was watching Sprat. That dude is a god. He hits like 90% of his shots with a sniper. The dude is insane, right? But I was just not feeling it. And then I went and watched, like, the two Black Ops 4 videos he had, and I was feeling it. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because Black Ops 4 is more vibrant and colorful versus Modern Warfare. I just don't vibe. I've already deleted Modern Warfare. It's already too late for me. We took a 150 gigabytes of space. Like, I'm not dealing with that. 
But like I just don't vibe with it Like Everything about the game I don't feel right Like At the beginning of the game When the game first dropped 15 kills was a lot In the game Which was Which is sad And then you had Casual fans Getting mad at you Or YouTubers getting mad At campers And then you had The casual fans Complaining that the YouTubers was getting mad because they wasn't get they wasn't nuke in every lobby, but like obviously now they figured out how to nuke every lobby and no one's complaining. But still, it's not that I don't do good in the game. It's just that game is so damn boring. Like every time I would get on that game, I wouldn't even want to play. Like I'd get on, I'd play two matches, and I'm like, I'm done. I can't do this shit no more. Like, I find more enjoyment in Madden franchises than I do. And we don't even play the games in Madden franchises. I, I find more enjoyment in that than I do uh, any COD in Modern Warfare. I just, I don't vibe with Modern Warfare. Not even a little bit. Like, I don't know. I just don't vibe with it. But, uh, with the same sense, though. I hate to say it, but I'm not really downloading Black Ops 4 neither. As much as I love that game, as much as I love the whole Black Ops series, I'm still not re downloading any of them games. It's just the simple sense of. I mean, I hate to say it, but who the fuck gonna watch that shit? I mean, it's a part of my friends, but still, who's gonna watch that? Like, I don't. It's not even like it's, it's not even like I'm playing games to get to get views, but I'm playing games to get exposure. It's not even that. When you grow in a small channel, you're not playing to get views. If you if you was if you was especially a video game channel, if you was playing games to get views, it's not gonna work out for you. You gonna have to you have to play games to get exposure. So you gotta play the new games, even if you hate them, even if you absolutely 100% hate them. You gotta play the new games because that's what that's what everybody watching. So you gotta play the new games to get exposure. But if even even sometimes even when you play the new game, you don't get exposure. That's why 2K18 was like the best year to be a 2K content creator, which that's when I was making shit content. But that was the best year to be a 2K content creator because every content creator was gone. They didn't want to play the game no more. They took a break. That's kind of I'm kind of seeing a trend with that. Like, most of my, the content creators that I watched play COD and Black Ops 4, they post, like, once every fucking month or something. I don't even think I've seen it. Either either I'm not subbed to him or I haven't seen it, uh, or he hasn't posted a video. But I haven't seen TKO post nothing about Modern Warfare. He posted the Damascus Knife, and that was it. I swear I ain't seen him post nothing. But typically, whenever I watch Snipers or TKO, I, like find enjoyment with the game, you know what I mean, like, TKO was the one who got me into, like, actually, like, using melee weapons, and stuff like that, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, and all that, but, like, one, the combat knife in, in Modern Warfare is broken as hell, it's too damn easy to use, but, like, I don't know, he, he I, I don't know, man, it's just, like, I can't find enjoyment in that either, doing that is just stressful. And then the main thing that kept me into playing Black Ops 4 was it was the hype around me at my school because I grinded Dark Matter in seven days. Like I got Dark Matter, I got Dark Matter in seven days. I missed like two days out of the week, and I had like I think I had like four days played or something like that. But it was just because everyone was so hyped that I was getting Dark Matter so quick that like. I could, I could actually, like, legitimately play that game nonstop because I wanted, I, it was, like, more like a, an acceptance thing where it was, like, the more people talked about it, the more I wanted to do it, the more I wanted to go home and do it. And only two guns in that game made me actually frustrated. I can genuinely say every single gun that I have even tried to grind has made me frustrated in Modern Warfare. The Damascus grind, I know they said it was going to be a grind, but I didn't expect it to be this damn much. And I think it's funny because I used to grind the mess out of 2K. I used to grind the mess out of 2K.
But in 2K20, they said they was getting rid of their grind. And I completely stopped playing that game. And then COD said, oh, we're going to add a grind. We're going to add a grind. We're going to make our grind longer. And I just said the same thing. Like, maybe if the two games would have never touched anything. Like, hold on, let me turn this down. Maybe if, the, maybe if those two games wouldn't have done anything, I'd, have sti I'd still be able to play them. Like, I, I don't know, man. Something is, something is off. Like, I just don't. And 2019 was just an awful year for games. They ain't come out with no good games. Borderlands 3 was I. Modern Warfare was shit. 2K20 was shit. Madden was shit up until like a month ago when we found out how much fun it is to do franchises with each other. I had to say it. 2019 was shit. 2020 better start. It's gonna start off with a better. With, with a with a better set, because you know, well, you got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which of course I'ma love that game, no matter if it's absolute dog shit or not. I'm still gonna love the game, just cause it's, you know, it's it's Dragon Ball Z. Like, I can genuinely say I haven't played a Dragon Ball Z game and not liked it. But maybe maybe Xenoverse Two, cause Xenoverse One and Two are the same thing, basically. But I don't know. I never, I never played one and genuinely said I hated it. Until I, to be fair, when I was younger, I loved the game. But now, I replayed it and I actually hate it now. Which is Dragon Ball Z Sagas. But everyone knows that it's like the worst Dragon Ball Z game of all history. But still, we don't talk, we don't talk about that game. But, and then we gonna get on to like, what? Well, no. We found out the other day that like, Watch Dogs 3 is supposed to be coming out on... PS5 and the new Xbox, so that ain't gonna come out for a while. Um, you got shoot, isn't Elder Scrolls 6 supposed to be coming out? I think it is. I'm not certain. Uh, I I'm not even totally sure what games are coming out. To be fair, but I know they gotta be better games because it, I just oh, but uh. Apparently the one the COD this year, the COD that's supposed to be coming out in 2020, is being ran by all three developing companies. Because uh what is it, Ravens Gear or something like that? It's Activision, Sled it's Activision Sledgehammer. I think Activision is the whole thing. I'm pretty sure. But Ravens Gear um, Sledgehammer and Treyarch like I'm pretty sure Activision straight up said that like Rave, uh, that uh, Sledgehammer because no Sledgehammer did this one no they straight up they straight up said that the company that was making the one that's coming out not that was coming out for this year uh just wasn't producing it fast enough I guess and Treyarch said alright we'll hop on ship and then I'm pretty sure Sledgehammer said the same thing so we either gonna get the absolute best Call of Duty with absolute shit I mean to tell you shit microtransactions you put Treyarch and Sledgehammer in a game and you think the microtransactions are not gonna be awful dude the microtransactions are gonna be awful they're gonna lock the second AR <laughs> Under loot boxes, like it's gonna be bad, but the over overall gameplay, like the actual core gameplay of the game, should be gas. Like it should be gas. And I don't, I don't think it's gonna be a Black Ops game. But if it is, then that's just more in my book. Because as soon as I see Black Ops, I'm, I'm, I'm straight. Like as soon as I see Black Ops, I know I can play that the whole year. Cause it's not gonna piss me off. But like. I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just can't find enjoyment in any of the games that I'm currently playing. It's just more or less like, I'll play Madden franchises, some Flash games, Overwatch pisses me the fuck off. Oh yeah, and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, because my tone is a little different. This is how I normally talk, 
And I'm gonna stop doing all that extra shit in my videos where I try to like, I don't know, I started watching Face Jeb and then I'm like, if he's still making money, then I can do the same shit, you know what I mean? But like, I don't feel like being fake no more. I feel like I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna say this in a good I'm gonna say this in a good way. I feel like the idea that I had in that video where I said I was changing my whole like get out trying to be a positive influence literally almost started crying in the video but like I feel like I feel like the idea was good but the whole tone of voice thing that's just not me like I can't do that like going G-rated E for everyone that ain't that ain't me and my and my squad we don't do that we can't do that and I know and I know when when uh, SMTD clip starts uploading, I'm gonna have to G-rate myself, but that, but that's fine. I'll do it for his videos, but I'm not gonna do it for mine. I can't do that. I can't do that shit no more. That shit too damn hard. It's just like for me, for me, if I if I like think about what I'm trying to say too much, I will completely and totally forget, and they notice too. Because on stream, I will dead ass like legitimately stop talking because I can't, I can't even process what I want to say. So I'm probably gonna start doing it on stream too. Like I'm just gonna say fuck it, I don't care. Like I'm gonna be me and all that shit. I'm not gonna try to, I'm not gonna try to, you know, baby talk. Because the more I try to like, the more I try to make. The more I try, see, you see what I'm saying, though? Like, you see how it took me that long just to get that word out? But, like, the more the more that I, uh, bitch. Fucking okay. bitch. Uh, the more that I try to, uh, sort of PG myself, the less, the less it'll, uh, you know, the less words I'll get out, the less meaningful things that I want to say. But um, at the end of these car talk videos, which I'll probably, honestly, honestly, today is Thursday. I will post these on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will post these two down two times a week, just to get just to get shit cleared out of my head, which is which is good, which is good for me, because it ain't healthy. I keep all my shit like locked in my head, and I don't really speak to nobody about nothing. So I'll use I'll use, which is probably awful. Now that I think about it, it's probably the worst way to, to do this. To actually, like, legitimately talk about that shit online. But, hey, my friends are always at work. Uh, well, not Dylan. But Dylan is always taking a nap at this time. If I think he gets on, I always forget about my problems, which is never good because they always just kind of, like, come back, you know, kind of basic shit. But, uh... Uh, I think another thing is, is, is I, I think I'm gonna start actually like caring about myself a little bit more, like actually like taking my hair out and shit like that, caring about what I look about, look like. Cause I even if, if I do make if I do make it shiny, like I don't want kids to see me as a bad influence. Which here we go again on that bullshit, but still, like it can take they as long as they don't take what I say, they good. But um, uh, at the end of these videos, I think I tried to say this, but I said I was gonna, I was gonna do some like motivational shit at the end of these, some you know sl sloppy shit, right? You know what I mean? But basically, the one for the one for today is kind of just be what you want to be. Like you, uh, okay. Everything you do got a purpose. Like God wouldn't tell you to start making YouTube videos. If he didn't want you to, he wouldn't tell you to do this, to do that, unless he wanted it, unless he didn't want you to do it. So you may look, you may look at your analytics, you may look at your game that you made, you may look at this and that and be like, it's not perfect. But nothing's going to be perfect. Ain't going to be, ain't going to look at your YouTube channel and like, I'm not growing. But of course, of course you're not growing. You got to, you got to give it some time. Which I, honestly, honestly, I need to remind myself some of these just because like, I don't know. I tend to get a little, little quickly frustrated, which is just that's just a part of being me. But like, you gotta know that you gotta know that uh, like everything you do is there's a reason for it and all that. 
but you know everything you do got a purpose and just try to strive to be the best that you can be i mean there's not there's nothing more you can ask is is if you if you is the best that you can be then there's literally nothing more you can ask for yourself so as long as you as long as you got that goal as long as you got that passion you're good and never let your dreams die too though which was gonna be one for tuesday but I, i'm walking really slow but like if you ever if you ever let your dreams die then it's over with because even if even if you can't you know even if you can't accomplish the dream somebody else will do it for you like your kids anyone left on this planet in your family they'll do it for you it's just um kind of how uh that's kind of how I view life, which I know I always like, I don't know, like some of my friends will see this video and be like, no, you don't. You don't view life that way. That's how I view life. That, that is how I view life. It's just, it's just hard to, you know, in my generation, how everyone is, is just like, you got, you got to act the way you act. Like you got to act the way you, they act on this. You know what I mean? It's kind of that way. It's like. If you don't act the way everybody else act, then then either you just don't make friends or you just kind of like, kind of just lame, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, some TV boys know, know how I am. They know the whole car facts, you feel me? And this XR camera really be looking at right, hmm. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, so, as long as, uh, as long as you, as long as you know that, uh, as long as you know that everything really got a purpose, then you're straight. Now, I'm about to end this damn recording, give me a bowl of cereal, and then go start my fucking stream. You should come through. Link is in the description below. And come vibe with me. We're probably going to be playing some Flash games again. We're probably going to beat the Kila Zombies too. And then... I don't know what to do after that. Alright. We'll talk to y'all... What? Tuesday? Probably Tuesday. We might have some little, little talks. Here and there. Well, actually... For this uh, for this whole week, I'll probably just do car talks. Uh, and then once I start actually, once I get enough content for my editor, and I start getting stuff from him, then we will stop doing not stop doing car talks, but doing my Tuesday and Thursday. All right, well, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you sometime later tomorrow. You know, All right. tomorrow at three. Wait, I get up before that. Tomorrow at one forty-five. Well, now I think about it, the video will be uploaded at like four. All right, all right I'm gonna let y'all go now. Yeah, have a safe, blessed day.